We're down here, obviously, on the Oregon coast today. I want to catch a huge black rockfish. I've been catching a lot of big black rockfish, and I have yet to do a rockfish, a uh, black rockfish catch and cook on a video. So today, I'm hoping that my luck can continue. We can get out here, get on a big, uh, guys, I'm talking big friggin' black rockfish. I'm gonna go with my uh, normal tried and true. I'm pretty sure I've already put out some videos uh, on these guys here. That is the Storm Wild Eye Swim Shad. And that guy right there is a five inch. It's a five eighths ounce and that one is called the Bunker. And that little bait right there has been an absolute killer. I'm hoping we can get out here and I can show you guys how insane this thing is. Well, I've been wearing uh, gloves lately when I go out and fish because I realized that uh, those little fish will tear your hands up. Now, if you start getting into some of these, maybe four, at least, at least four pounds. I'm talking some of the fish that I've been finding right at about five pounds. And so for a black rockfish, I'd say that's pretty damn good. And you get one of those things trying to get off your hand, those things will shred you up. So... Just been rocking some uh, little cheap gloves that can help out a lot. All right, so you guys know the bait that I'm using, but lately I've been using uh, this 12 foot Okuma Rockaway rod. And I've got that with uh, an Okuma C55, 50 pound braid coming down to, right now I've got some 25 pound fluorocarbon on there. Uh, as I mentioned a few times before in other videos, I usually swap between 25 and 30 really just kind of depends where I'm at everything obviously is going to kind of depend on the conditions and just the type of area that I'm fishing in and how rocky it's going to be All right. we don't have a very big window right now we're kind of uh, right about what is going to be prime time so if we could uh, hopefully just nab up a fish and uh, get out of here, that would be kind of nice. So I don't know if I put it out, the video out already, but I was talking about how I, uh, you know, basically swim these baits and the action that I put on them. And it's never totally consistent. I like doing swims and little pops. Uh, just a huge crank on the reel like the fish just kind of took off because it got spooked and uh, Really, I'm waiting for that tap in my line. I put a lot of emphasis on a uh, Paying attention for that tap in your line because you're gonna get that tap in your line before your line goes tight before your rod tip bends any of that and if you're paying attention you can uh, Make the whole experience a little bit easier get that fish on as soon as it starts messing with your uh, your gear oh there we go oh dropped it no way There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, that feels like a good one. The water's... Oh, there's a surge, though. Let's get this guy. Let's get him! Yeah! That's a tank! That is a tank! Oh, my God! Ow! Have I not broke this rod yet? Oh, my God! You guys! Oh, my God! there i'm telling you this is why i absolutely love that bunker i can swap up so many different baits the bunker is the game changer look at that friggin fish oh my goodness Let's slam that down there there we go. 
There we go. Yeah. It's just another reason that I absolutely love those baits. I mean, that is just an absolute toad. I don't know if it's because they look so lifelike or what it is, but I mean, a majority of those fish that I've been catching with these baits are just ginormous fish. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that's, I don't know anybody who would complain with a nice black rock fish like that. All right. Oh, so I'm getting back to the vehicle here and I was anxious to get back because I really wanted to uh, finally get an official uh, weight on one of these fish. I haven't had a chance to do it. I've had a lot of bad luck recently with uh, my scales. I got two of them. One of them just didn't want to work. The second one I thought needed batteries and so I picked up some new batteries and uh, the thing still didn't work. And so I went to Walmart and picked up this little uh, scale. It's a Ozark Trail. It's uh, rather cheap. Uh, brought some batteries with me and so I get back to the vehicle anxious as I said to get this fish weighed come to find out that the friggin thing takes AAA batteries so I don't even have the right batteries to get this fish weighed so again the bad luck with my scales continues but what I can do uh well starters I'm gonna it's not the biggest one that I've caught yet and if I were to have to put a a, a guesstimate to it I'm gonna say it's about a four and a half pound fish uh, I was assuming that the last one that I caught that was really big uh, was it was 22 inches and I was guesstimating that it was right about five pounds so what I can do at least is get a measurement on this fish on top of my scale or on top of my cooler here uh, I've got a measuring thing but I've also got you know kind of my official what I use every time while I'm out uh, just doing a quick little look right here i can see that we're pretty much uh 20 and a quarter 20 and a half something about that and so i want to get this thing legit measured so i think what i'm going to do is i'm trying to figure out exactly where his mouth stops at here and i want to push his gill plate down so that doesn't give us any extra length here so we're coming down we're at 16 right there coming down tail so I'm not just pulling straight. I'm trying to keep it flush against the fish. So right there, we've got 21, and you can see we've got 21 on the uh, the cooler right there. So I mean, I'm guessing I'm, you know, we're pretty much on on par. So a 21 a 21 inch uh, black rock fish uh, is definitely nothing uh, to complain about. I'm really excited to uh, find such a nice fish. So let's get this thing filleted up and. Uh, get this baby uh, in the old cast iron skillet. So it's not the best knife in the world, but I have used this thing to fillet a mass amount of fish lately. So to keep my line, so I can get a nice fillet, end up turning the blade around again, and you'll see I kind of run it right along these fins along the back, and I can feel that my knife is running along the, uh, the bones in there. All right. Being a lefty makes things uh, kind of weird sometimes. That was definitely not my uh, perfect fillet job, but again, using this little cheap, probably dull now, got a broken tip on this fillet knife. Still, this fillet is going to be a bit too big for my cast iron, even though it's a fairly decent size uh, cast iron. So I'm just gonna pick a section and uh, cut, and then we'll just uh, go from there. Probably my least favorite thing of trying to do these uh, catch and cooks down here at the coast is having to find uh, a spot where I can get out of the wind. I'm gonna be, I, my girlfriend just picked me up this bottle of uh, this Meyer lemon infused olive oil. It ran out a long time ago, so I'm actually really excited to have some of that. This is gonna be a killer mix with some soy sauce, some ginger powder, and uh, some green onions. These utensils I'm using are GSI Outdoors. I picked them up at a uh, Sportsman's, but it's that Halulite or whatever. So it's got your knife, your fork, and your spoon on there. It's basically stainless. So it's my first time using these out here. So we'll see how those, uh, those work out. Oh, that's way too much. Oh. The smell of this stuff. It was such a pain in the butt to find some of that. If any of you guys have uh, never tried that before, I highly recommend it, especially when it comes to uh, cooking fish and stuff like this. It's, uh, a little bit of 
soy sauce. Soy sauce goes a long way. Add some of that ginger powder. It's kind of breezy out here, so I don't know how well this is going to work out. Oh, it's just starting to fall apart in there. That's awesome. Just gotta finish it up. Alright, I think that is about done. Check out a piece of this. Whew! Hot. Oh. Hot but delicious. Did I even bring a plate? Holy crap. All right. I actually think I took my plate out. Mm. All right. Well, what we can do, I'm just going to set it on here. That's a... Uh... Mmm. You can really pick up the um, the ginger in there. If you guys don't like ginger at all, then definitely do not put it in there. But it's actually a, a, a really nice mix on top of the uh, soy sauce. They really kind of complement each other. Mm. But I gotta say that is an absolutely delicious fish. And to think that it was just out there minding its own business, swimming around, saw a little storm wild eye, decided it was going to eat, and uh, made a big mistake. Mm. So I'm really glad that worked out today, uh, to be able to get out there and find a big fish. Uh, I, for wanting to get back to doing a black rockfish uh, catch and cook, to be able to go out and find a huge one like that, uh, just kind of topped the cake. So. Uh, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, you guys, best of luck to y'all, and I hope to see you out on the water. Mm. Cha-ching. Mmm. Mmm. Take a bite.